In 22.4 in Tableau Prep, you can now just replace an input by dragging the file on top of the existing connection. It's a small quality of life improvement, but it's so valuable. Let me show you how it works. Let's get started. Before we get stuck in, just one quick favor. 82% of the people watching this video in the last year aren't subscribed to the channel. And just to show you some context, nearly half of my subscribers came from this last year's worth of content. And if you look at how many views and how much time people are spending, I'm sure it's creating value somewhere. So if you really appreciate the content or would like to see even more of it at a better, higher quality standard, hit the sub button and enjoy the rest of the video. So here we are in a prep flow. You can see that I already have errors here. I've got a file that is missing. I essentially broke this flow uh, just to show this example. This is the default workflow that you get with Tableau Prep when you open it up. It's the very first Superstore flow. Now here you can see we've already got a connection that's broken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get the exact same file that I moved to another location. In this case, let's assume that I'm new to the organization. I don't have access to this file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first going to go and get my finder window just so we can bring up the relevant data source on screen. And you can see here, I've got this returns data set. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it into my connection window here on the left and you'll see that Tableau automatically adds it to the window. And you can see here, I have a returns.xlsx uh, file here, and I have the returns table just here, and it's going to replace this top one over here. Now, what I could have done, I could have fixed this by editing this connection, referencing the new file, but what I've done is I've just brought it in again to show you this basic feature. I can go ahead and drag it, and I can replace it. There's this little icon here that says replace. I drop it on top, and now Tableau will go and replace everything, and you'll see the errors disappear, just like magic. So nice, so useful. Great quality of life improvement, love to see it. Now there's a couple of other subtle changes. If you're familiar with Alteryx, you'll notice that Tableau Prep has got these curvy lines. And this is part of a feature set that I don't fully understand the impact of uh, until I start using this more. Probably take me a couple of weeks of using Prep frequently to understand what these changes are. But if I go ahead and bring up the notes for this particular uh, capability, it's essentially a UI improvement. Let me put it up on screen here so you can see what I'm looking at. Uh, I actually covered this in my coming soon video for this particular release. Um, Tableau Prep makes the process of building a flow to clean and shape your data incredibly visual. With a revamped flow edge graph. I don't know what that means, flow edge graph. It, I'll come to that in a second. We are reducing visual distractions that arise when the flow graph becomes larger and more complicated. These changes will provide you with a more legible, flexible, and playful experience when creating flows. And I think part of that change is the curvy lines, but I think more importantly, if you've ever worked with a really, really large flow, I can't show you any examples. I do have large flows, but they're client work, so I can't show them to you. Um, Tableau prep gets a bit funny, you know, in the edges and the extremes. And so I wonder if this tries to resolve those issues. I wonder if it resolves sort of the jittery, sort of janky behavior sometimes we get. I'm not entirely sure, um, but I think that's what they're trying to resolve in this particular release. So let me know what you think they're going to solve in the comments below. If you know the answer, also put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. But that's it for Tableau prep in this release. I've actually got another video about LogShark for Tableau Prep. That's a separate video. It deserves its own airtime. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.